is Sage Lewis from Web Marketing Watch. This week we're talking about Google Apps. It is the centralized repository for a bunch of Google services. And especially I wanted to talk about Google Apps in relation to small businesses because small businesses have a real tough time online and Google Apps very well might be the complete solution. This today I want to talk about the services that come with Google Apps. Now check this out. First of all, you get Gmail, you get a start page, access your inbox, calendars, docs, company info, and that sort of thing. This is kind of a start page for internal people, typically. Um, Google Talk, that's, they, that's their instant messaging service. Google Documents, this is, a, it's like, you know, you know Word? Well, it's like that. It's, it's a minimized version of Word, but it's all online, so you can share and collaborate in really interesting, interesting ways. Google Calendar, you can coordinate meetings and company events for your organization. Google Sites, we're going to talk more about this later this week, but Google Sites is the reason I wanted to do this, this feature this week, because Google Sites allows you to create intranets, websites, the whole deal for your organization, and they are super, super easy to use. So, now you might say, well, I've got Gmail, I use, I use Google Docs, why do I need Google Apps? Well, the reason this is nice is because it centralizes it for your organization. So instead of everybody logging in at the, with their Gmail account, you give them, you log them in with, with your domain. So in my case, at our company, you know, it's sage at sagerock.com, rocky at sagerock.com. They have their own login, and it takes us to our centralized location here at Google Apps. And all of our documents, all of our local email, all this stuff, all of our, all of our um, instant messaging for the organization, our organization calendar, it's all in one centralized place and it's really, really nice. Now, they do promote a uh, Google Apps Premier Edition and I thought we'd take a quick look at that to see if that might be something to consider. Pretty much what it costs is it costs $50 a, a year for the Premier Edition and the biggest difference is email storage over here. The standard free one you get currently about 6.4 gigabytes of email storage. With the Premier Edition you get 25 gigabytes of storage. Let me tell you something, 6 gigabytes of storage for email is a ton. Now, they do have some other services here that um, conference room and resource scheduling, um, policy management and message recovered by Postini. Postini is a pretty nice email corporate management tool uh, for keeping everything organized and, and systemized in your organization. If you have a large organization, you might consider this for just the Postini thing. Then they got these APIs so you can integrate this into an overall infrastructure. You know, if you've got if you've got a, a, an IT department they might find that interesting but you can check this out I don't need to go through all of these but really the big difference is this 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 Gmail size I really think most people are going to be just fine with the standard edition of this which is totally free so and but if you want to try it I mean go you know you you can try the premier edition they have a free you know free trial for 30 days you can give it a spin see if you like it but there are a lot of really great tools in here and you know if you are lacking something in your um, uh, web arsenal, your, your web toolkit, chances are Google Apps might just be a solution for you. Alright, we're going to keep the ball rolling on Google Apps this week. We're going to look more at specific features in Google Apps which are really pretty powerful and pretty interesting and so I hope you keep tuned in as we look at Google Apps this week. Alright everybody, this is Sage Lewis from Web Marketing Watch and happy marketing!